It's extremely significant for squash to be part of the Olympics. It's, it's a certain sense of validation uh, for the sport to say we belong, we belong on the world's brightest sports stage. Uh, it's an incredible, incredible milestone, just a huge breakthrough for the sport. We, we couldn't be happier. Uh, this is going to increase and be a catalyst for people's awareness of the sport and, and how great it is. And so that, in a sense, I think is something that's really important for the squash community, but also in the U.S. in particular, where uh, the sport is not as well known as it is in the rest of the world. For us, it's really important because this just allows people to become aware of the sport. And then it's our jobs to, to help provide them access so that they can tap into all the great benefits of participating in the sport. Well, it's an ideal sport because it's fast, it's uh, intense, it's dynamic, uh, it's strategic, uh, but also it's relatable in that uh, squash is a sport that can be played by anybody. Uh, we have gender parity, but also any age, any body type. So it's a sport that just can inspire you uh, by seeing world-class play, but can also get out there on the court uh, with essentially just a racket, a ball, uh, some eye guards, and, and have a great time. It's been a wonderful collaboration with World Squash and the PSA and U.S. Squash. We came together more than a year ago and it's been really strong ever since. And, and the results I think show in terms of uh, our ability to work with the Los Angeles Organizing Committee who have been amazing and extremely professional and so respectful. So we give a lot of credit to Los Angeles and their organizing committee for running such a great process. And we were just really happy to be part of it and to, to be able to work so effectively with PSA and WSF. And I think it, it, it's a harbinger of good things to come in terms of uh, while it's a very vast squash community globally, uh, to have uh, some of the leading organizing uh, governing bodies in the sport be so close and working so collaboratively together, that helps us drive a bigger vision for the sport. Well, we always felt that uh, our plans for developing and growing the sport would be the same regardless of Olympic inclusion. However, Olympic inclusion is just a huge catalyst. Again, the awareness is going to be massive in terms of our ability to engage uh, the community, uh, communities that haven't had access to squash before. So uh, our ability to drive growth will be enhanced quite a bit by Olympic inclusion. So we're excited for the opportunity we're, and we're ready for it. Uh, we work with the Parks and Rec Department in Los Angeles for the Play LA program doing outdoor squash. So we're really looking forward to continuing to develop Los Angeles and access to the sport. And the Olympics will leave a huge legacy there because we'll be uh, leaving uh, courts behind, outdoor courts, exhibition courts. So there'll be a great legacy for the community in Los Angeles, both the squash community, but uh, beyond uh, in, in, uh, in terms of access to the sport. And what that does ultimately is, just means we have more activity at the grassroots, a bigger pipeline of talent coming through, aspiring to be Olympic gold medalists, which is just fantastic.